How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you guys today as always. And I finally, finally unlocked Obake Petra level 3 guys. I just did it a couple games ago. Uh, man, that took a long time. Let's go ahead and check out all the colors for Obake Petra. They all look amazing. And also I want to thank everybody who came to my live stream yesterday. I did a 1v1 viewer lobby and it was a lot of fun man. Had a lot of people, oh man look at black. Mmm, had a lot of people show up, and yeah, if you want to be, you know, one of the people that gets to fight me on my stream, all you have to do is subscribe and turn notifications on. Click that little bell next to the subscribe button, and when I go live, I go live on YouTube, uh, you'll be able to see me. Go live, and then you can join my game and play against me. So anyways, this skin is awesome for a couple reasons. I love the skin itself, it's pretty terrifying looking, but also, the animated gauntlets. I'm pretty sure those are the first gauntlets in the game that are actually animated. We also have the animated orb, which looks awesome, but we already have a few other orbs that have been animated, so it's not as special as the gauntlets to me. So anyways, uh, which one should I do? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, black, just because I have it, and it probably looks the best in most people's opinions, so we'll start with the best, and uh, just go from there, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, though, wherever you guys might be. And please drop a like if you enjoy the video. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. All right, we got our first match with the Obake Petra level three. Let's see who we got. Andy. All right, Black Mordex, Platinum Border. Pretty uh, generic brawler right here, but let's see what we can do with the Obake Petra. Look at that skin. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Oh, the Platinum Scythe, of course. Look at those gauntlets. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna taunt, but. Mordex, this is my stage. Oh my, that was a snipe. My stage. I gotta remember to use uh, Petra Sigs because a lot of times I'm having so much fun with the gauntlets and stuff, I just forget. Silly doggo, you thought I was dead? I'm only gonna die when I win. I'm still alive. How does that make you feel? Oh my, two for two on the snipes? Two for two on the snipes? Oh. <laughs> I was trying to do a side sig, I did the wrong one, dude. He punished perfectly with that neutral sig. He stands there like I can't just ground pound him. Oh my, I don't have a recovery? Dang, nice string, dude. I thought I had a recovery. He's starting to get in the rhythm there. He's starting to feel it.
GG, dude. GG. Was that my first game? I think it was. First game with Obaki Petro win. Let's go. Yeah, it's not as fun when you don't have any missions to work towards, though. You know what I mean? Let's do a uh, different color. How about Love Struck? I bet you nobody else is going to use this color with this skin. Um, yeah, I, I already completed all the missions, so basically all I have left to do is just like play the game. So another Black Mordex. This one's upgraded. Now it's a Fenrir Mordex and now it's a Diamond instead of a Plat. It's like he just went into uh, an upgrade thing. All right, let's see how we do against this one. I barely won against the Platinum Mordex, so for sure I'm gonna lose against the, the Diamond Mordex. Amazing how that ground pound just absolutely crushes my recovery sometimes. I, I I do it too when I'm using gauntlet, so it's fair enough. Ooh. See, see, crushed his recovery too. Gauntlet ground pound is just insane. Oh, dude, you threw away your weapon so early. Got it. I was trying to do the side sig again, and if it worked, I would have hit him, but... I ended up doing a different sig. Dude, nice side sig on the site. That was strong. Ice Cap? That's a good name for a Mordex. He's, he's definitely an ice legend. What about Kaya as well? Ooh, got him. Kaya also uses ice. Any other legends use ice? Wow, I just realized my mouse was on the screen. I don't know if you guys saw that. Cheese. Oh, GG, dude, GG. I was actually trying to land on the platform and I went through it. GG, dude, GG. The upgraded board X was too much for me. Ooh, I'm about to level my Petra as well. Alright, uh, let's do... Mm, should we do Skyforge or Goldforge, dude? Alright, let's do Skyforge first. I'm gonna be honest, I used to love Petra and play her all the time, kind of. But I don't like her as much anymore because she feels a little bit slow. Like, I wish she had more dexterity. That's just me. I mean, she's still a really good legend. Don't get me wrong, she's very, very good. You could be high diamond with Petra. I mean, she's a very capable legend. I'm not saying she's bad. But I, I prefer other legends. I think I just prefer Bo. Um... Like, I've been playing a lot of Kaya lately. She's really fun. Trying to level her up to level 25. You know, we all have our own personal flavors. I really like Diana as well.
Oh yeah, this Diana knows how to use the whip, and she is not afraid to use the whip. There you go. I give her credit for surviving, man. I hit her twice with that recovery. Oh wow, the taunt wasn't necessary. <laughs> the taunt was not necessary. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Taunt when you win the game if you want to be rude, but in between stocks and you're just getting bad karma now. Bye bye. She was waiting to use that. She wants to hit me with the uh, the neutral sig on bow so bad I could tell. Oh, that was nice. Oh, I should have just attacked her, but like I was trying to kind of uh, taunt her without taunting by not approaching because she seems to just never want to approach. You got to make people leave their comfort zones if you want to beat them. Alright, now she's being really aggressive, which is good. GG. GG, dude, GG. Tristan Towlitz? Trist Tow Tristan Owl? Okay. GG, dude, GG. Ooh, pretty soon I'll be able to actually level up uh, the battle pass or whatever, the points again. Alright. Let's do Gold Forge, man. Gold Forge? Oh, man. You can tell I used to really love Petra because I have Gold Forge for her and Sky Forge. Um, I actually got the Gold Forge for her, I think, like, really shortly after she was released. That's why I like to hold on to some of my glory. That way, when a new legend comes out, I can quickly get them Sky Forge or Gold Forge, like, before everybody else. If you have the glory saved up in the bank, you can do that, you know? Alright, he's got Honor, another Mordex. What a surprise, man. Mordex ain't losing any popularity, that's for sure. Man, he almost got me with that ground pound. I was able to sneak it right by him and counter. Now you don't have a weapon, more decks. Oh, now I don't have a weapon? <laughs> 200 IQ plays? Oh my. Oh, I thought I was gonna have orb.
Nice place! His uh, targeting is really pretty, pretty good. Oh, I tried to recover, but that just grabbed me like it was nothing. Ooh, careful. People always jump into that neutral sig. I do it too. The orb looks so good, like animated like that. Man, you know he's happy. It's like a dog wagging their tail when they get a kill. They like wiggle back and forth. <laughs> it's so funny. Humans do it too. <laughs> he ain't waggling so much anymore. <laughs> GG dude, GG. So many more Dexes in the players. You guys realize there are other legends in this game. I know Mordex is awesome and he's really fun. I love Mordex too, but come on, man. Like, I've been playing this morning for hours and I've probably... 50% of my matches are against Mordex. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next one. Take it easy, guys. And by the way, let me know in the comments if any of you guys have unlocked Obake Petra level 3. I guess uh, by now, probably people are getting there. And um, now we wait for week four missions, which will be available in, wow, not for a while, 37 hours. So I got a ways to wait. And uh, we will wait for those missions. In the meantime, I guess I'll just keep doing earn battle pa pass points. Um, let's see. Ooh, I'm about, next year I get two more, two more soul fires. And we're getting pretty close to that spear, which is not the best looking, but... I do like that avatar. And then we get the hammer. Not the best looking in my opinion. The burning rose is awesome. The Tengu sidekick's awesome. And then the Arcfiend Zariel is awesome. But man, oh man, oh man. Do I want the knockout effect and then the Jiro. That's going to take so long. But after we get the Jiro, it's only a couple week, couple more uh, weeks worth of levels. And then we get Akuma no Koko Hattori. All right, guys. Take it easy. The quest continues.